Hello everybody, welcome to another Oral Washington rant. This is the one on current event rant. Uh, first and foremost, son, I want to start off by uh, this, this rant being, being dedicated to the one recent events that, that happened to um, uh, Miss San, Sandra um, Blaine. The, the events that happened to her, it, it was indeed um, tragic, just like all, all the other different type of events that, that happened to different people like Trayvon Martin. Um, and, and everybody else, you know. So the purpose of this current event rent is that um, once again, um, I just want to um, just, just illuminate everyone, not not just um, you know black people or white people. I just want to illuminate everyone of what's uh, really going on. If you've been if you've been paying attention to my current current event rents, uh, the last rent that that I mentioned about, um, it was dealing with. The activation of the MK Ultra program where it went globally, and, uh, and I was basically basically telling you that within the MK Ultra program, they use different sites like social media. They use the regular media, which is news and stuff like that, uh, to program the citizens, to program the people. And the reason why they're doing that is for the ultimate agenda is to um, ratify or destroy the the United States Constitution where they could create a whole new brand new constitution that will be suitable for um imprisonment it'll be suitable for slavery and the like where they could just do whatever they want to see fit the thing about it is that uh you know I'm just letting everyone know that you got to be consciously aware of this you know of, of what's going on you have to be awakened with what's going on going on as well the whole agenda of uh, what was going on, it's not just a, uh, a black race war or a white race war or a religious race war, you know, like I said in my other current event rants. Um, it's bigger than that. It's much bigger than that. If we, uh, if we all continue on the same path, if we all continue on the same type of, um, same type of path, uh, what we're doing right now, ultimately, this is what was going to happen. Is that uh, we're going to end up losing our rights as citizens because we because we're going to um, ultimately go on going to the Supreme Courts and stuff like that, um, and we're going to demand different rights. That's the same as the same sex same sex marriage rights as well. You know, more people they're going to go to the Supreme Courts and and demand rights, and they're not going to, they're going to have no other choice but to um but to um. Uh, this ban the United States Constitution altogether where, where they're gonna have to redo the whole or modify it and redo it all together You know what I'm saying and this is this this particular act is gonna be horrible for our country It's gonna be horrible for the people in the country because they they're gonna add laws and stuff that's that, that's gonna be very unsuitable and Like people right now, you know, they're thinking about themselves. They think about their feelings. They're thinking about you know what what they going through as it is right now, you know what I'm saying. But me, on the other hand, I'm not worrying about not only just myself, but I'm thinking about my children. I'm thinking about the their children, children. You know what I'm saying. See the things that that we setting forth right now, um, in this time, we setting the stage up for our children in the future as well. You know what I'm saying. We setting our children. If you want, if you into this um issue about you know um. Um, Black life matters only and stuff. You setting the stage for your children to be that way in the future as well. You setting the stage for that. You know what I'm saying? If you and in the same instant time, you know our life matters. Um, you setting your children up for that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you stand, if you want to set the stage up to um to literally fight by violence and stuff like I'll be seeing all these videos of up. Uh, I want our children be fighting and. All the stuff there, you know what I'm saying, and recording and laughing about it like it's a joke. Then you sending your children up because it be children that's watching that. And they think it's okay and it's alright to do that, you know what I'm saying? So everything this in other words, everything that has a cause and effect to every you know, in every single situation. You know what I'm saying? Now just like I said in the in the beginning stuff, you know what I'm saying, uh what what happened to Sandra is uh it was uh, very very tragic indeed and stuff um, based on the the information and based on the research I, I did about it and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, and my prayers is out to to her family and all her loved ones that they're involved in it as well. But likewise, um what what are we gonna do about it as as you know as people, and when I'm saying people, I'm not talking about just black people, I'm not talking about just white people, I'm talking about as humanity, you know what I'm saying, base. Well, what are we going to do about that? You know what I'm saying? Some, sometimes, 
Um, well, yeah, let me say it's also because it was people that was posting stuff about this too. Um, so some people feel feel like if you don't do nothing about it, or if you not express yourself like Sandra did, you know what I'm saying? Then 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 um. None of that would ever happen if you had complied with the police. Then none of that would have happened and she wouldn't have um, died and, and all the stuff there. You know what I'm saying? But me, on the other hand, you know, um, um, I, I, I bet to differ and stuff. And the reason why I bet to differ is for, is for the simple fact that sometimes it takes a necessary evil to, to, to uh, acquire a desired results. And what do I mean about a necessary evil? Now let's go back in time through through history. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back through the times or uh, um during during the slavery times where many of um many, many of the um um the, the African tribes were, were lynched, there was murder, there was slaughter and stuff like that. And even in that time frame and stuff, right, they were saying the same same exact thing. Let's just survive, you know what I'm saying? Let's just um let let us survive, let us um does go through it, you know what I'm saying? So, so our family could eat and stuff like that. But the more they did that and stuff, right, the worse it got. Their children being slaughtered, their wives being being raped and pillaged. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all these things was happening to them until finally, some people they said enough is enough. They start standing up for themselves. It may have cost them their life, but ultimately they stood up for themselves. And the message for them for standing up to themselves. It caused an uproar. In other words, it caused a ripple effect all together stuff where, where more and more people start standing up, which that, that birthed people like Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, uh, Malcolm X, you know, these different people, Muhammad Ali, uh, these these different people that, um, that start ri rising up as leaders, you know what I'm saying? But in order for them to even happen, that unnecessary evil, as I, as I said, had to happen that way. You know what I'm saying? So, like, people that say, like, well, you doesn't need to comply with the, co the police. By all means, you know what I'm saying? You could comply with the police. At the same time, you could display, you could exercise your right as, as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? You could be respectful respectable, but at the same time, you can exercise your rights. You have that God-given right to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because you have the rights of this land. That's the law of the land. You can do that. You can't just be just a, um, a submissive slave all your life. You know what I'm saying? Just comply to whatever. You know what I'm saying? You have, you have to learn to speak for yourself, especially when it's truth. You know what I'm saying? And even when it comes to the point of speaking, speaking, um, the speaking things, you know what I'm saying? If you come, come to the point of speaking speaking stuff, right? And it'll cost you your life. That's what you chose to do, you know what I'm saying? And that's what what will have to happen. Now, just like I say, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, all about being part of the side of a race or anything like that. I'm I'm all about truth, period. And the whole truth of the matter is that we we have to want to rise as people, you know what I'm saying? It's time for us to want to rise as people and, and do what's necessary. It's time for us to stop fake hacking with one another. Stop fighting with one another. Stop bickering with one another. And actually help each other as a nation, as a country, as a strong country. There's no such thing as upper class. There's no such thing as middle class. There's no such thing as poor class. There's no such thing as white, black, African, Hispanic. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's no such thing as being being Muslim, Christian, Buddha, whatever. We are one people un, under under one ruling, under one one body, you know what I'm saying? And it's about time we, we start on acting that way, start acting towards humanity, you know what I'm saying? For humanity's sake. If not, if we don't do this way, if we if we don't get it together, then our children are gonna suffer through this, even worse than where we going through, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be way worse worse on them, you know what I'm saying? So so my question is, even to myself, is that what are we going to do about it? You know what I'm saying? Um, um, are we going to continue to be ignorant about it? Or are we going to continue to uh, downgrade each other? And I'm talking about everyone as a people, not just a race, but as a people. Are we going to continue to downgrade one another? Are we, are we going to continue to quote unquote courage one another? Or, or are we going to are we going to want to stand up as a nation, as a people, and end this thing once and for all? So. The choice is yours, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, right now, I know many people, you know, y'all probably look at these rants, you know, be like, whatever, that's cool, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? But ultimately, you know what I'm saying, my, uh, ultimately, my voice is going to be heard about, you know, everything that's going on, you know? So, 
So uh, my, my time is up on this particular rent. Once again, uh, I wish all my all my people um, uh, success, prosperity. Uh, I wish them all love and everything. And most of all, uh, the ice is getting rough out here. You know what I'm saying? So so y'all need to um, exercise caution, uh, exercise your rights, and does does be safe out here for real. You know what I'm saying? And I always uh, keep keep the most high in in your hearts and stuff as well. Peace, y'all. And be blessed.